Joining us now is Evan Hirsch. Hey, Evan, how are you? I'm so good. I miss being able to reach out and hold your hand next to you, but this is a new, interesting concept for us. <laughs> it is. I don't know. Like, if like try to reach out. Let's see how close we could possibly get. Put your hand right out. Oh, what? almost. I feel like this is kind of the it's same, just, right? We're almost. We're almost there. Okay, so Evan, you recently uh, ran into a dear friend of ours, Panina Tournay. How is she doing? She's amazing, and she just presented her new Utopia collection for Bridal Fashion Week. It got delayed by a couple of weeks, obviously, with what's going on in the world, and, you know, it's hitting very close to home for her. But um, she managed to become triumphant, and she showed her new Utopian collection, which could not be more fitting. It was a hope for a utopian society and a better world. So she showed that throughout her collection and everybody was just there to support her, which was really, really nice. And she, you know, has this amazing partnership with Kleinfeld. So you'll get to see a little bit of that. I love when uh, she first came on the show and we were talking about how her initial concept came where she would like one top of a dress, but like the bottom of something else, right? So I see that um, design wise, you're very similar in that way, right? You want something that's fresh, different, um, that can kind of twist up a little bit on the traditional and just make it something spectacular. What have you been designing lately, Evan? What have you been, what's been underneath uh, the sewing machine as I'm making this sewing machine kind of motion right here? You know, what have you been sewing? So I just finished, I think I teased a little bit of it last time, but I just finished my bridal fashion week collection, which was um, dresses that have a built-in cape for people who are going to different affairs, especially if there's a more conservative uh, kind of portion of it, or like a church that they're going to, or a religious ceremony where they could put a cape over their arm. And then when they get to the reception, they could drop it down and party it all night long. Or if they get some liquid confidence and they're suddenly very comfortable with their arms, they can show it for the world to see. So that was really cool. That was a good partnership that I did with uh, Kretzia International. And now I'm working towards February Fashion Week, which I have a cool, exciting partnership to tease in the virtual world. So hoping oh. that all goes well and I can bring it to everyone here at home. Well, that's exciting. So you're coming up with these other concepts now. So here you were uh, during COVID and you reached out to us a couple of years ago. And then I've gotten to watch the growth of your brand. You have a logo now, Evan. You've had uh, Fashion Week experiences. You have uh, clientele. You've done um, custom red carpet dresses for people. It's just extraordinary. Are you having the time of your life? I think this is what I always dreamed of, which is really cool. I think I put it like piece by piece together. Like every single thing is a stepping stone, which is really nice. I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself and say, okay, well, you're not at this exact level yet, but I have to understand that it comes in small doses. So everything that you just said has kind of added up to this big picture of what I think a designer should be. So it's, it's been great. And what I love is that you've been there to see it and to support me every step of the way. And you know, use your platform to encourage me to keep going, so. I'm not the only one uh, in TV, like Tamron Hall, you were doing the Tamron Hall show, and now you're doing these brand collabs. Whether the brands are contacting you or you're con contacting them, it must be so much fun. It's been really cool. I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing people. For Halloween, Twix reached out to me and they wanted me to make a Twix-inspired dress, which was really cool. I worked with Joanne Fabric to premiere their new fall collection, which was really cool. That dress went on to receive like 5 million, 6 million views online. So it's crazy what these things can turn into. And I, I can really bring their visions to life also. So I never thought I would be working with such prestigious companies, but it helps me to be more creative. And then I reach out as well. So it's a great kind of mix. And what color um, is exciting you at this time? Like what are you, like for February coming up, is there a color? I would say I've been working with a lot of Navy recently. So that's been like a good, you know, a good kind of subject for me to focus on. I like to be very inclusive of all colors, but uh, Navy has been really cool for me. And then I do a lot in burgundy also. So they're kind of two totally different spectrums of the color theory, but I really love working with it, but I'll never exclude a color, even things that people shy away from like a bright yellow. I, I, it just makes me so happy. So I can do anything in any color. And I do the transforming dresses. So it might start out one and turn totally different. So Wonderful. Well, have a beautiful, happy holiday season. Always looking forward to seeing you as soon as we can actually be in the same place at the same time. Thanks again, Evan. 
Most definitely. Thank you, Donna. It's always a pleasure, even through this phone screen. There you go. Happy journeys to you, my friend. Bye, hun. Well, that was Evan Hirsch. He's been on the show for a few years now. I think the world of him. And if you haven't been following him, please do on all of his social media. Be well.